We've all been with a spicy woman. In fact, I get all kinds of excuses from guys of why women are spicy. She's got red hair, she's Irish, she's a Leo, she's a whatever. But the problem is they don't really address the one thing that's hitting her and why she's that spicy and it happens to be him. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you can do to lead her out of the spicy place and back into a loving and caring relationship. This thing here is probably the biggest sticking point that men have when it comes to their relationship and relating to women. Remember, relationship means to relate to each other. So if you're not relating to each other, you're not really having a relationship. And this thing, when their woman gets upset, this is the biggest sticking point. So part of your job as the guy, and you might not want this to be your job, but it is what it is, is to lead her emotionally from the place she's at to a better place. It doesn't mean to take all her bullshit or to take her abuse or manipulation or name calling or belittling comments. No, you should shut that down immediately. You should have a zero tolerance for bullshit in your relationship. But at the same time, you have to be as much as you can open with your heart, open to feeling her, open to seeing what's going on with her. But in order to do that, you have to be non-reactive. In other words, you can't get caught up in all her emotions. For a lot of guys, this is really hard to do because they're afraid of their woman's emotions. And they're afraid of their woman's emotions because they're afraid of their own emotions. They don't really, they're not really willing to go within. They're not really go within and see what's going on in their own emotional state, right? And so they end up getting in the situation where their woman gets upset and the guy can't handle it. Like his nervous system just gets fried. It's like, God, he just gets angry. He starts arguing with her and just throwing all that she's throwing at him back at her and it becomes his fight. And then she's like, you don't understand me. He's like, damn it, I'm trying to understand you. Why can't we calm down? And she's like, I'm trying to calm down, but I can't. And they just spin this out of control. And like a few of these fights will really, really define a relationship. Because now at the end of a really knockdown, down, drag out fight, she's gonna be thinking, well, he doesn't really understand me on a fundamental level. So why am I even in this relationship? And I thought that he was a different guy than he is. And the guy's like, what the fuck is her problem? Or why can't she just see, see reason? And the thing is, she does want to see reason. She doesn't want to be upset. She doesn't want to act like this. Nobody does. It's embarrassing. It's frustrating. And so for you as a man, how do you deal with this? Well, the first thing is you just start not reacting to her. You just calmly observe what she's doing and try not to your best ability, take it personal. Just see that she's having a moment. That's all it is. It's just an emotional moment. But if you can't look within your own emotional state and calm your own emotional self, then you're gonna get carried on the wave of her emotions. You're just gonna get swept up by the fucking tide. And the thing is, is that you have to be like this boat, like you're this boat in the ocean and she's the ocean and this hurricane's coming. And if she capsizes you, you've lost. You've lost the relationship, you've failed her and you failed yourself. And as the man, you have to lead her out of this place. And you say, why should I have to do that? Why can't she just deal with her own emotions like us guys do? Well, she could. But then why would she need you? The woman comes into a relationship because she wants you to help her be emotionally stable. She may not say this, but her, she's yearning for this. She's yearning for you to create this safety and security around the relationship. And if you're sitting there and you're reacting to everything, then you're spinning it out of control even more. You're making it worse. And then so she's like, I'm very frustrated. I don't know why I'm frustrated with you. I just, I just don't like this. this is, I got to get out of here. And this is why your fights will go endlessly. Be non-reactive. Be able to feel her emotion as she's doing it and watch yourself. See how you're reacting to it too. A lot of times she'll just throw a bunch of shit out there to trigger the hell out of you. And she's asking you, hey, can you please lead us both out of this place? For guys, we're really good at honing in on the solution. And so what we do is we want to use that magical talent to just throw it the solution at her. But what she's doing is she's throwing all her cards out on the table. I think I, something is wrong within me. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's this, maybe it's this, maybe it's this, maybe it's this, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Let's together like find a solution with all the cards that I've thrown on the table. Let's together work at this. Help me go through this process of figuring this out. Something is wrong. I just don't know what it is. You see, women are highly intuitive and sensitive and their emotions is what dictates that intuition. She just knows that something's wrong and she needs help with it. So she'll just start complaining. She'll start bitching about something. And what she's doing is she's trying to throw these cards out on the table. When you throw it, no, it's just this. You're completely invalidating all the, her whole process and what she wants to do and how she wants to act. You don't want to invalidate her process. You want to validate what she's going through because you love her and you want to validate her as a person. So you want to say, okay, baby, tell me what's going on with you. What about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? And you start pulling these cards out of her. Pull all these cards out of her. And then instead of going straight to the solution, you ask her questions about what could lead her to the solution. Well, do you think it could be this? 
And what, what would happen if this happened? And where do you think this is going? And what about this card over here? And what about this card? Tell me more about this card, this one over here. And you'll be surprised to find that she'll come up to the solution on her own. Now it'll take a little bit more time than you, and maybe it'll be a completely different solution than you came up with because she'll have the entire emotional thing around it. Most of the, most of the problems that she's gonna have are gonna be around relationships and other people. And so when you say, just do this, it's like when you're in class, and you're cheating off the other kid's paper. It's like, yeah, you might have the solution, but you have no idea how to get there or what it means or why or why it's valid. And, and we don't want that to be the case. We want to have a full understanding of what the solution is in this, in this context. And so when you lead her through this and you stay calm and you don't let your boat capsize, don't be surprised that she finds you very attractive and incredibly appreciative of you being able to just hold the space and hold the structure, right? When you're doing this, you're doing the structure. You're providing structure in this way and you're leading her out of this place. We're not telling her how to feel. We're not telling her what to do. We're opening her up. You can help her get to the solution on her own. Anyways, brother, if you like this video, be sure to like it and subscribe for more. And if you want to see more in the future, well, just stay tuned.